With all sorts of assets and templates that come out on the asset store every day, it's easier and easier to create a video game without any effort at all. Any coder can just buy a asset and create a video game in under a couple minutes. However, the quality of games will decrease substantially the more people use templates. Using templates is not a bad thing, it's just most people cannot actually code. Meaning, the person who uses a template cannot update or upkeep their video game, causing a downfall in their game, player base, and community. There are even YouTubers, such as Big Fry, who has a tendency to run into asset flips, revealing how bad and manipulative these games can be. Now to prove how easy it is to create a video game, I'm going to task myself with creating a survival horror game, The Forest, with only using templates and other models. I'm not allowed to code anything or make any models myself, I can only use stuff I can purchase. Starting out with our first asset, the Survival Template Pro. This pack includes hatchets to cut down trees, rifles and bows to defend yourself, hunger and starvation with food and drinks. And last of all, building and resources If you don't know how the forest works, it's based on an island full of cannibals. So I'm going to use these assets I currently have to make a small version of the island. After two whole days of working on this, I finally got a playable island that the player can use. It has all the resources that the standard survival game has, and it will also provide a good place for cannibals and other animals. While building the island, I used two more assets, one called Summono Water and another Prefab Brush. At this point, I've just used the template and that's it. I haven't actually added anything to the game to make it better. I am now planning to add animals, and this is the pack I've chosen, the African Big Pack. Now, African animals might not fit the theme, but since I own this pack already, I'm not going to spend more money on buying another. Since you cannot create animals without AI, I have gone to Emerald AI 3.0 as my solution. I will also be using this for my future cannibals. So with the African pack and the Emerald AI, I have created a warthog to roam our island. This will be the first animal and probably the only animal for this video. Quick side note, I'm using the Farm Animal Sounds Pack to use for my hog. It might sound like a pig, but it's all I got. Now I'm going to create the main camps for the enemies. It, these camps will have better loot than the rest of the map, and you can find the main weapon, the rifle. Trying to find an asset that would fit the theme for creating the camps was hard, and especially finding something that was relatively cheap so I could try it out before actually committing. So I went with a free option. This free option is pretty underwhelming, however, I think it would do just right for what I'm using it for now. However, if I make a second video, I'm probably going to upgrade the models and make the game feel more like the forest than it will be. Now I'm going to move on to probably the most important part about the forest, the cannibals. However, cannibals is more of a vague term and really just means a person who eats someone else, so I could literally use any model I want. And what model did I choose? 
one of the most expensive assets I've ever purchased for a single model. That is 40 more dollars towards a project I can't even code in, but since I bought them, let's use them. However, since the Native American pack hasn't been updated in a couple years, the animations are broken, meaning I'm going to have to use another pack. So here I'm using the Zombie Pro mocap animation pack. Now while I could get the AI to work and run around and act as a cannibal, Emerald AI would break most of the time and the AI wouldn't actually attack the player, but sometimes it would. So I don't know how to fix this. If you guys know, let me know. Now that we have AI for both our animals and our cannibals, I'm going to set up cannibals to start roaming the island and animals to spawn randomly around it. And to spawn our enemies and animals, I'm going to use Crux Procedural AI Spawner. I use this spawner to automatically generate five hogs around the player, far enough away so you actually have to find them and hunt them down, and it feels very realistic when playing with it. However, the cannibals have caused an issue. I find that you can't just spawn cannibals around the player when that can feel unrealistic and unfair in some situations. So the way I'm going to fix this is have a set amount of cannibals in each camp and spawn some cannibals around the player. However, their rarity is going to be fairly high, meaning they won't run into them as often. Now that I've gotten AI for both hogs and cannibals, I'm going to start working on the last thing, points of interest, which will allow the player to gain items that he might not be able to craft, such as the rifle and any other material. Before I end this video, I just want to show you what the game looks like currently. So in the end, did I create the forest? No, not really, but I got pretty close with whatever I had. Without coding anything, I was able to 
make something that was pretty good as a game as a whole. However, the game kind of sucks, and it's not that fun to play, but I made it without coding anything myself or modeling anything. So as much as this is an asset flip, I would say it's a fun thing to do just to understand how coding works. Even looking at other people's work and seeing how they code stuff helps you a lot to understand how to progress in coding harder things. Now, if you would like to see me spend a buttload of money on doing this to another game, let me know. And if you want me to continue this one and progress it to make it actually feel more like the forest, let me know too. Please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to stick around. Have a good one.